So we go to break even analysis. When we think about break even, here it means the business is not making a loss or profit. It's not making a loss nor profit. That is break even. Your total cost equals your total revenue. I think we already know what total revenue is, right? And what total cost is, right? Yes. So when you talk about break even, it means the cost you uh, the cost of your production is the same as the revenue you make as a business. You're not making profit, nor a loss. Clear? Yeah. Scroll down, please. Thank you. The concept of break even. They said a business will break even if its total cost and total revenue are exactly the same. So break even means, please focus here. Yeah. So break even means TR equals to TC. Clear, please? Yes. Yeah. All right. So this is called the break even point. The point at which your TC and yeah. TR meet is your break even point. Yeah, no profit there. Yeah, no profit. No, pro no profit, no loss. That is break even. Clear, right? Is it clear, please? Yes. So we move on. Okay. Like you said, to calculate the break even point, the following information is there. If you have to calculate your break even point, your break even will come as a result of your cost and your sales. Yes or no? Yes. We don't talk about break even if we don't have cost, if we don't have sales. So that means the components of break even are our cost and sales. So when we talk about the cost, we're talking about the variable cost and the fixed cost. Is it clear? Yes. Do you get what I just said there? Yes. We have the components of break even. The component of break even would be the cost and the sales. That means we're going to talk about our selling price, we're going to talk about the variable cost, we're going to talk about the fixed cost. So what is the formula for break even? The formula for break even is fixed cost divided by selling price minus variable cost. Do you have that I said that? Yes. Break even is what? Fixed cost divided by SP minus VC. Break even is FC divided by SP minus VC. That's break even. Okay. Clear, right? Yeah. Any question about it? No, no. Are you sure? Yes. Or I will go down. Meanwhile, the Whenever we can also say, stop, okay, thank you. We can also say FC divided by FC divided by contribution. Contribution is uh, it's the same as FC, minus SP minus VC. So they could tell you in the exams, they might ask you in the exams to find the contribution. It is selling price minus variable cost. And if you have to find your, your break even, it is FC divided by contribution, yes. which is SP minus VC. Is it clear, guys? Is it clear, please? Yeah. Yeah. So let's go down, please. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Scroll the bit off, please. It's down, down, sorry. Down. Yeah. Break. Mm -hmm. It's down a bit. Thank you. So look at the graph. Let's just look at the graph. Stop at it, Based on this graph, we have a, we, this is our margin of safety. It's here, I just say. Do you get me or not? Yeah. We call it margin of safety because it shows the output that is needed not to make a loss. Here, yeah, this is the point. This is our break even point. Where our TC and TR intersect. That is break even. Here is a loss. Here is what? A loss. As ahead of it is what? Profit. Do you get it? Yes. Anything behind the break even point is what? Loss. Ahead of this is what? Profit. So the difference between this and this is our margin of safety. So these are outputs. If these outputs are produced, it's going to be a loss. That means if these outputs are sold, it's a loss. If this output is sold, it's break even. Selling above it becomes a profit. You will say. Is it clear? Yes. yes. Any question about it? No. Alright. We'll move on. Okay. Okay. 
we are constructing a breakable chart. He said, following the schedule, okay, below will guide you through drawing the breakable chart. This is a question about, let's go down this. This point here. We got it here, right? Yes. But you will be the one to indicate this line. Do you get this one? Yes, yes. The graph is going to be there, but you will be the one to indicate the, the output for breaking. Because when we are talking about breaking, we are talking about the output that has to be sold to not make a loss, nor profit. Also, the price. Yeah, the, how do you sell that price? We said we, the price. Total revenue is P times Q. The price and output. The output that will be sold. Sales is through the price. Yes. Do you get my point? There's no price, there's no Without say without output, without sales, there's no price. Yes. So when you left, we're talking about uh, what brings about the graph. First, you have to understand that this is your total revenue. So this minus this gives us profit. So your total revenue is always ahead of your total cost. Your FC is always below your total cost. This could be our FC. <coughs> this could be our <coughs> FC. This is FC. Then this would be our VC. This is our VC. This VC. Remember we said this plus this minus this gives us this. Do you get it? This plus this minus this gives us this. Are you with me guys? Yes. Do you guess it or not? These are the number of output that has to be sold. As soon as you are selling, your total revenue is increasing. But you have your cost, which has which was be below your total revenue. If not, you are making a loss. So here, let me stop right now and talk about this. This is your break-even point. This is the break-even point. Break even points. Below here, behind this break even, we have loss. Above it, we have profits. The difference between this and this is our margin of safety. So, margin of safety is the total number of output we have to sell that goes beyond, above the total level, the break even points. So as soon as we move ahead of the break-even point, we are saved. We are saved. Do you get the point? Yes. That's why our margin of safety is after the break-even point. But behind it, it's a loss. Here it's a loss. Ahead of it is profit. Yes. But when you talk about the margin of safety, it's always what's after the break-even point. So they might ask you in the exams to figure out where the margin of safety is where the loss is, where the profit is. <coughs> is it clear? Yes. Any question about this? No. We move down, please. All right. Can I go? Yes. Here, this is our total revenue. This is the point. If price increases, if price increases, you need fewer quantities to sell to reach break-even. So that means your break-even Point we shift backward. <coughs> Clear? Yeah. The second one. If price is lower, the total revenue will be flatter and the breaking point will shift to the right. If price is if price, price reduces, you need to sell more outputs to break even. Then it has to shift to the right. It has to shift to the right to break even. Yes, yes. Clear, right? Yes. The third one, if FC is higher, total cost will move upward with the steepness on change and break even point will shift to the right. If your FC, if your fixed cost increases, what happens to your break even point? It will shift right. also to the right. Because at that point in time, you need more because it's a fixed cost. You need more, you need to pay more. And because you have to pay more, you need more outputs to sell, to meet up with that fixed cost that is increasing. Are we getting the point here? Yes. It's shifting to the back, leftward and rightward. Leftward because you need less output. Rightward because you need more output. <coughs> yes. 
If this is higher, TC will be steeper and the breaking point will shift also to the right. Because now your, your variable cost is increasing. If your variable cost increases, you need to sell more. Your total cost will increase. So what's the like every increase in uh, total cost? Total cost will shift to the right. Yes. So and your total cost is FC plus VC. Yes. So either way, if the VC increases, your yeah. your breaking point will shift, shift to the right. Yeah. If your VC or your FC increases, your breaking point will also shift to the right. Yes. The only time your breaking point will shift left one is when the price increases. Because at that point in time you need fewer outputs yes. to break even. Break even. Is it clear? Yes. Then said so if the VC is lower, yeah, we said variable costs are costs that uh, variable costs are cost that increases as the level of output increases. If our variable cost reduces, the level of output will reduce. That means we pay less, yes or no? Yes. So VC, if the VC is lower, the break even point will shift, also left one. So price, a low price, or lower VC, will shift our break even point left one. Higher price, higher TC or VC or FC, will shift our break even point to the right. Is it clear? Any question about it? No, let's go down, please. Thank you. So, what are the problems about using break even points? What are the problems about break even? Number one, they said break even chart. How much output? A break even chart, okay, they said the break even chart shows how much output the business has to produce in order to break even. So, it's a limitation because most of the time, manager will, managers will only think about the total number of outputs you need to produce to reach break even is a chart that shows the level of output you need to produce to break even. It doesn't show further. That means there's limitation. Yes or no? Yes. Two. The cost revenue and profit are different. Uh, the cost and profit are different levels of output. It also shows. Yes, we said our TC. We have our TR above. Then we have our TC. We have our FC. It shows it. The margin of safety, it also shows it. This is what our, our, our breaking chart shows. The first one, it shows the output level. So it shows the total revenue, the total cost, the VC, and the FC. It shows the margin of safety, which is after the breakable chart, after the breakable point. Now, the limitations, I said one already. I said the TC and TR are shown in a straight line. In practice, they may not be straight. For example, a business may have to offer discounts on large orders. So total revenue fall at high output. So one of the problems about using break-even is that it talks more about output, yes. But a business might not be able to sell more if it doesn't reduce its prices. Do you get the point here? Yes. A business might not be able to sell so much output if it doesn't reduce its price. But we, based on the line, it is always what, horizontal, right? Yes. So it is flat, it is straight. But making it straight means it is constant. <coughs> Do you get the point? Yes. But is it constant when we have to reduce the price? No. So that means it is misleading. Do we get it? Are you here, please? Yes. yes We're talking about the, the limitations of break even, the first one. It does not, it is misleading because the line is straight, it is horizontal. And if it is horizontal, it means it is fixed. But it is not fixed because most of the time, businesses might not be able to sell large numbers of outputs if they don't reduce their prices. But based on the chart, the price should be constant. It is not constant here because we gave discount. Two, it is assumed that one output is sold and no stock are ever. When you're using break even, you assume that you sell all the output, which is not possible. There will still be stocks. You can't sell everything at a time. So that means it's misleading. The third one, the accuracy of the breaking chart depends on the quality and accuracy of data used to construct the total cost and total revenue. If the data is poor and inaccurate, the conclusions drawn on the basis of the data will be wrong. They are information that we need to put together. So if the information is wrong from the beginning, maybe in the course of you collating for the variable cost or collating for the output, if it is wrong, everything about it is wrong. Do you understand yes, the yes, yes. So these are the limitations about break even. We said the first one is that it is a straight line, which is TC and TR. But the problem about having it as a straight line is that sometimes businesses will not sell more output if they don't reduce the price. 
So we assume that we sell all the stocks, which is not possible. And the last one, if any of the information is wrong, the break-even chart is wrong. Is it clear? Any question?